Josh Duggar, M. Anna Keller, eldest Duggar child Josh was born March 3, 1988. He too became a conservative activist, campaigning for the Family Research Council. He stepped down after old police records surfaced in 2015 revealing that he had been accused of molesting several girls, including his sisters Jessa and Jill, when he was a teenager. Jessa defended her brother in a sit-down with Fox News that June, insisting that the worst names people were calling Josh were, so overboard and a lie, really. I mean people get mad at me for saying that, but I can say this because I was one of the victims. His wife also stuck by him, including after he admitted to being unfaithful. When he checked into a treatment center in 2016, his parents called it, a crucial first step in recovering and healing. Parents of three, daughter Mackenzie, October 8, 2009, and sons Michael, June 15, 2011, and Marcus, June 2, 2013, when the scandal broke, Anna gave birth to their fourth child, Meredith, on July 16, 2015, the same day TLC canceled 19 kids. Their fifth child, son Mason Garrett, was born September 12, 2017. Daughter Mariella Hope arrived November 27, 2019 and baby number 7, Madison Lilly, was born October 23, 2021. In a federal indictment filed in April 2021, Josh was charged with a count apiece of receipt and possession of child pornography. He pleaded not guilty on both counts. In 2022, Josh was found guilty on both counts and sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. John David Duggar, M. Abby Grace Burnett, shortly after Josh was born, Michelle got pregnant again, but suffered a miscarriage. While she and Jim Bob were still grieving that loss and praying for guidance, they found out that twins were on the way. We felt it was a double blessing, she told Love to Know. God was encouraging our hearts. We're still learning. It's really so unusual, because I breastfeed my babies, but my children are so close together. I have a baby and then eight months later I'm expecting. Just another unusual thing the Lord has seen fit to do with our situation. John David and his sister Jana were born on January 12, 1990. After a whirlwind courtship, they did know of each other for several years, though, before meeting at a church event in Abby's home state of Oklahoma, and a short engagement, John David and Abby got married on November 3, 2018. They welcomed daughter Grace Annette Duggar on January 7, 2020 and son Charlie Duggar in September 2022. Jana Duggar, M. Stephen Wisman, on their 30th birthday in January 2020, John David's twin confessed in a sweet message to him, ever since John and I were little we've been asked if we have that, twin thing. You know, the thing where you feel what the other one is feeling or know what the other one is thinking. Well, John, I've always answered that with a no, but now I can honestly say that the day little Gracie was born I felt every bit of happiness that you did, so I guess it must be real. Jana continued, it's so sweet watching you and Abby as parents, your naturals, and the same qualities that have made you a wonderful brother will also make you an amazing dad. And while Jana watched 11 of her 18 brothers and sisters get married before she found love with Stephen Wisman, whose sister Hannah Wisman is married to the former TLC star's brother Jeremiah, she believes it's all part of God's plan. I haven't always understood what the bigger picture is, but I know that God knows what is best for all of us, and so for me, it's getting married later, Jana told People in August 2024, shortly before her wedding. Each of our stories will be written differently. If we were all the exact same, it would be a boring life. Jill Duggar, M. Derek Dillard, Jill was born on May 17, 1991. In a love story reminiscent of her parents, Jill first met Derek, who grew up about 45 minutes away, on Christmas 2011 when he stopped by the Duggar family abode while out caroling with his church group. Jim Bob played matchmaker, and Jill and Derek hit it off, growing closer over email and Skype. Father and daughter went to visit Derek in Nepal that November and Jill and Derek continued to fall for each other. In February 2014, Derek asked Jim Bob for his daughter's hand in marriage, and they tied the knot on June 21, 2014. They are parents to three sons, Israel, born on April 6, 2015, Samuel, born July 8, 2017, and Frederick, born July 7, 2022. In April 2024, Jill shared that she had suffered a pregnancy loss while expecting her and Derek's first baby girl. The couple starred on 19 Kids and Counting and later, Counting On, Derek was fired from the show in 2017 after making homophobic remarks about fellow TLC reality star, Jazzy Jennings.
Jill and Derek reflected on the controversies and religious beliefs surrounding her family in the Amazon Prime Video documentary Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets, which premiered in June 2023. Jessa Duggar, M. Ben Sewald, Jim Bob and Michelle's fifth child was born November 4, 1992. Jessa met Ben through church and he began courting her in 2013, the old-fashioned approach to romance coming as a brand new notion to a lot of viewers. The kids never talked about their romances pre-engagement, so Jim Bob explained to people, courting is getting to know each other in a group setting, both families spending time together and the couple setting goals together to determine if they are meant to marry. With dating, a couple will often pair off alone and that sometimes leads to a more physical relationship. Ben asked for Jess's hand and then proposed in August 2014, sealing the deal by holding her hand for the first time. They married on November 1, 2014. Jessa was pregnant with their first child when 19 Kids and Counting was cancelled and TLC subsequently aired a special about sexual abuse, featuring Jill and Jessa, to further educate viewers on the subject. The sisters would end up the stars of their own show, Jill and Jessa. Counting On, that winter, the show then evolved to become Counting On, featuring other Duggar siblings as well. Meanwhile, Jessa and Ben welcomed son Spurgeon on November 5, 2015, son Henry on February 6, 2017. Daughter Ivy Jane on May 28, 2019 and Daughter Fern in July 2021. In February 2023, Jessa shared that she suffered a miscarriage over the 2022 holiday season. She gave birth to her fifth child, George, in December 2023. Ginger Duggar, M. Jeremy Vuolo, the sixth Duggar child was born December 21, 1993. Ginger and Jeremy met doing ministry work in Laredo, Texas, and started courting in 2016. They married on November 5, 2016, the bride's nephew Spurgeon's birthday, but you just try not overlapping milestones when you're one of 19, and were promptly the subject of pregnancy rumors. Where we see ourselves in a year is probably just settled down, still doing ministry here in Laredo, and just seeking to serve the Lord, however, we can, Ginger said on a June 2017 episode of Counting On. Their daughter Felicity was born July 19, 2018. In May of that year, they revealed that Ginger was pregnant again, and that she had suffered a miscarriage the previous fall. In November 2020, they welcomed daughter Evangeline Jo. Joseph Duggar, M. Kendra Caldwell, number 7 was born on January 20, 1995. Taking advantage of the romantic setting, Joseph proposed to Kendra, whom he met through church, at his sister Joanna's wedding in May 2017 after just a few months of courting. I was definitely nervous going into it, but I wasn't afraid that she was going to say no, because she has said, I'm just waiting on you, Joseph told people after popping the question. Added Kendra, I'm so happy and so shocked, there's so many words I want to say, but just shocked. They've since welcomed three kids, son Garrett, born June 2018, daughter Addison, born November 2019, daughter Brooklyn, born February 2019, and son Justice born May 2023. Josiah Duggar, M. Lauren Swanson, 8th in line, Josiah was born on August 28, 1996. Just a few months after his courtship with Lauren went public, the couple announced their engagement in March 2018. The place where I proposed to Lauren is the exact spot where her parents were engaged, he said in a statement, there's a lot of family history on this property making it a special place for Lauren. Her future mother-in-law, Michelle, said in a video posted on the family's blog, We love Lauren, she is such a precious girl. Jessa and Ben also offered congratulations, and chocolate shaped like X's and O's. Pretty sure that y'all want to save your first kiss for your wedding day, but if you come over here we'll give you. She held up the sweet consolation prize. A previous courtship with Marjorie Jackson didn't work out and they went their separate ways in the summer of 2015. Marjorie and I had a good time together, Josiah recalled to people in March 2016. We were just trying to follow God's lead on everything. She didn't feel that it was the right timing then, so we called it quits for a bit. He and Lauren tied the knot June 30, 2018, telling people their wedding day was absolutely perfect. They welcomed daughter Bella Milagro on November 8, 2019 the name translating to, Miracle Baby, after the couple revealed Lauren had suffered a miscarriage in October 2018. They welcomed another daughter, Daisy, in 2022, and a son named Ezra in May 2023. Joyanna Duggar, M. Austin Forsyth, 
the ninth Duggar sibling was born October 28, 1997. She knew Austin for 15 years as a friend before he started courting her, after which they didn't waste any time. He proposed in February 2017 and they married on May 26, 2017, at Cross Church in Rogers, Ark. The wedding where Joseph proposed to Kendra, they welcomed son Gideon Martin Forsyth on February 23, 2018. In 2019, Joyanna suffered a pregnancy loss with a baby girl at 20 weeks along. Jedediah and Jeremiah Duggar Jim Bob and Michelle's second set of twins were born on December 30, 1998. It was reported in February 2017 that Jed was interning at his dad's old stomping grounds at the state capitol, working for the Arkansas House of Representative, and a 21 ease on the ballot running for state representative for District 89, committed to putting Springdale's conservative values first. He married Katie Nakatsu after one year of courting in April 2021. They are parents to son Truett, born May 2022, and daughter Nora Kate, born June 2023. Jeremiah, a certified flight instructor, is married to Hannah Wisman and the two are parents to daughter Brinley, born December 2022, and Brielle, born February 2024. Jason Duggar Duggar child number 12 was born on April 21, 2000. In January 2017, the Daily Mail reported that Jim Bob helped Jace buy a $33,000 fixer-upper in Prairie Grove, Ark, about 30 minutes away from the Duggar family homestead, and he ended up starting his own construction company. But of course he wasn't too busy to help Jed with his campaign. He went Instagram official with girlfriend Maddie Grace in May 2024 and the two got engaged in August 2024. On his 19th birthday in 2019, his mom wrote, he is the funkle, fun uncle and all the younger boys around here look up to him and want to be just like him. James is able to do just about anything he thinks up. Even as a child, we would find James fixing various household appliances. He has always been one to take things apart, figure out how they work, and put them back together, with a few special modifications. This year James worked hard to get his CDL, and he has become an expert at driving all the big trucks and heavy machinery. We can't wait to see what God has in store for him in the future. Johanna Duggar Duggar Baby No. 16 was born October 11, 2005. This girl is so fun and outgoing, and she loves making new friends, Michelle wrote on Johanna's 15th birthday in 2020. Her younger sisters absolutely adore her and think she hung the moon, and I couldn't be more grateful to God for choosing me to be her mom. Jenny Duggar No. 17 arrived on August 2, 2007. Back when it was just 17 kids and counting, Jenny was the baby of the family. Now, OMG, she's a teenager. Jennifer is dependable, loyal, and fun, Michelle wrote when her little girl turned 13. She is a favorite with the nieces and nephews and is usually carrying one of them around because they don't want her to put them down. Jennifer also has a special love for animals and is very faithful to take care of her pets every day. She recently helped raise a litter of seven little bunnies. Jordan Grace Duggar, here on the right, the penultimate Duggar child was born deck. 18. 2008. In 2019, her mom called Jordan Grace an outgoing girl who has never met a stranger, with a laugh that is always one of the brightest spots in our day. Josie Duggar, lucky number 19, here holding niece Meredith, was born on December 10, 2009, three months premature and weighing only one pound, six ounces. Josie spent six months in the neonatal intensive care unit but is happily doing great now. Jason Duggar marries Maddie Grace in fall-themed wedding. Counting on star Jason Duggar, Jim Bob Duggar and Michelle Duggar's 12th child, married Maddie Grace in her home state of Tennessee October 3. The Duggars officially have another family member. Jason Duggar, the 12th child of Jim Bob Duggar and Michelle Duggar, married Maddie Grace October 3 in his new wife's home state of Tennessee. The couple exchanged vows in front of about 300 guests. Just having everybody together just to celebrate us, because you never get another day in your life where all of your loved ones are together, Maddie told people ahead of her nuptials on what she was most looking forward to on her big day. Especially for us, because I'm from Tennessee, and so half my family lives in Tennessee and Kentucky, and then we're moving to Arkansas. She added, just being able to see everybody in one place, it's just a big party where everybody gets together. The couple's bridal party featured eight of Jason's siblings. Jedediah Duggar was his best man, while James Duggar, Justin Duggar and Jackson Duggar were his groomsmen. Meanwhile, 
Maddie's bridesmaids included Johanna Duggar, Jennifer Duggar, Jordan Duggar and Josie Duggar. For the special day, Maddie opted for a belted white gown with bishop sleeves and had a braid in her hair, while Jason donned a tan suit and white shirt with a matching white tie. Their reception featured an Italian menu to give guests a taste of their upcoming honeymoon to Italy, with cheesecake and ice cream for dessert. As for what's next, the duo is looking forward to doing a bit of traveling before, settling down, with one another after their big day. I think for both of us, we're pretty simple people really. It's like just doing life together, Jason sweetly shared. Just being able to enjoy the next seasons of life and just be able to take those next steps. He went on, we really became each other's best friends and it just kind of built from there. The journey is what has showed us that we are just perfect for each other. Keep reading for more about the Duggar family tree. As for what's next, the duo is looking forward to doing a bit of traveling before, settling down, with one another after their big day. I think for both of us, we're pretty simple people really. It's like just doing life together, Jason sweetly shared. Just being able to enjoy the next seasons of life and just be able to take those next steps. He went on, we really became each other's best friends and it just kind of built from there. The journey is what has showed us that we are just perfect for each other. Keep reading for more about the Duggar family tree. Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar the parents of 19 and grandparents of over three dozen little ones started out as high school sweethearts. Michelle has recalled being, saved, at 15. Then, one night, Jim Bob was making home outreach visits on behalf of his Baptist church and he ended up knocking on the Ruark family's door after his friend told him that, this girl from school that just got saved and is a cheerleader, lived there. They invited Michelle to Sunday school at their church and, Jim Bob said, he prayed to God that they could be each other's spiritual leaders, though apparently their first meeting wasn't as memorable for Michelle. A year later, she applied for a job at the frozen yogurt shop owned by Jim Bob's parents. You came to the counter where I was standing by the cash register and introduced yourself, Michelle remembered in a letter posted on the family blog in 2017 for Jim Bob's birthday and their 33rd wedding anniversary. You were shy but very sweet, I really don't remember much about that conversation, except that you finally mustered up the courage to ask me if I would go to your junior-senior banquet with you. She attended the dinner with him at Shiloh Christian, but it was when they hung out afterward discussing the Bible for hours at her parents' house that she knew. From there, we believe our hearts were knit together, Michelle has said. We graduated high school in May of 1984 and were married in July. I was 17 and Jim Bob was 19. More than three decades later, the couple dedicated themselves to God and each other for the long run. Jim Bob is a former state legislator, having served in the Arkansas House of Representatives for the 6th District from 1999 until 2002, during which he was vice chair of the House of Corrections and Criminal Law Subcommittee. A run for U.S. Senate in 2002 ended in the primary, as did a bid in 2006 to become the Republican nominee for Arkansas State Senate District 35. He and Michelle, who are both licensed realtors, have been active in conservative causes, an aspect of their lifestyle that won them in 19 Kids and Counting, which premiered in 2008 as 17 Kids and Counting, both fierce supporters and fierce critics. A robocall Michelle recorded in 2014 encouraging people to vote against a proposed anti-discrimination ordinance in Fayetteville, in which she said she was calling to inform them of the so-called dangers of making it legal for transgender men and women to use the facilities they feel safest and most comfortable in inspired a change.org petition demanding TLC cancel their show. The city council approved the ordinance.